President Goodluck Jonathan has dug out what Erufai did back then in 2014 regarding Boko Haram and the comments the Boko Haram made. Well, I'm very sure you want to hear more gist about this because it's a very interesting one. But you should stay tuned to the end because we're going to bring you everything that is trending. And this happened just a few days ago while the president, uh, ex-president Goodluck Jonathan spoke about Arafa and Boko Haram. Anyway, more details will come to you, but please stay tuned. Ensure you subscribe if you have not subscribed and also give our videos a thumbs up. And don't forget to hit the notification bell so that you can get updated anytime we drop a new video. And right here, this is Saffron Media and we're here to give you the best. We give you sizzling hot gist from the area of politics in Nigeria and many more. So ensure you stay tuned and enjoy all of this right here. Okay, guys, without wasting more time, let us hear what the former president, good luck, Jonathan, because he is reminding Arafai of Boko Haram's comments during his time in office. Yes, Nigerian's former president, good luck, Ibili Jonathan, has thrown a jab at the governor of Kaduna State, Malam Nasir Arafai, following comments he made while good luck Jonathan was president, running a nation that is threatened by one of the deadliest terrorist organizations in the world, the Boko Haram. According to the former president, El Rufai lied that Orisha Jaffo and I are Boko Haram sponsors. This is to state that the governor who was formerly in opposition in 2015 election was totally opposed to the good luck administration at every level. Political commentators and observers would recall the aggressive position to the administration. However, with the current state of affairs under the watch of Governor Erufai's party with regards to terrorism and all security challenges, the former president seeks to remind the governor and most importantly Nigerians of false allegations leveled against him during his time in office. Recall that Kaduna State Governor Kaduna State governed by Erufai government is currently the most terrorized state in the past weeks. He, the governor is trying to deal with bandits and terrorists that have taken over the state following the abduction of dozens of students and several other attacks only in the past weeks. So, my dear people, you can see that uh, sometimes you are being humiliated for you to be celebrated at the end of the day. That is exactly what happened to good luck, Jonathan. Remember that he is the most humiliated president ever in the history of Nigeria. But guess what today? Even the same party which humiliated him are running back to him to seek for solution. They now see him as someone who has been able to able to overcome so many challenges. Now, he reminded Erufai of how he was you know, head bent on pressing him down, saying that he was a sponsor of Boko Haram back then in 2014. And obviously you can see that in 2014, you know, Nigerians have never really experienced a kind of um, terrorism siege in a, for a very long time before, like the one that happened in 2014 when the Chibo girls were uh, kidnapped. You know, so many Nigerians were not expecting that at all in any way, but somehow that was what happened. And, you know, a lot of people said a lot of things about the president, good luck, Jonathan, that he is not uh, uh, capable to handle the affairs of the country. And that made so many people bring up so many ideas, so many things that made that administration to be very tormentable for the governor for the president back then in 2014, he was humiliated, he was frustrated, he was tired, that he became old. If he could remember then, we could remember that uh, ex-president Goodluck Jonathan automatically became old while in office in 2014. Before then, he was looking young, but suddenly after the Chibo girls were kidnapped, there was so many pressure on him on not being able to handle the security situation in the country. But guess what? Today, they are still running to him to seek solution for the same security challenge he faced in 2014 and Erufai was one of those that were actually humiliating him so much and he said he was the one sponsoring the uh, Boko Haram because then they said Boko Haram is one of the deadliest terrorist organizations in the world but why is it not the deadliest today they are trying to make it look like today it is no longer as bad as it used to be 
they forget that today it is worse than it has ever been. And now he is reminding Erufai that now you are saying you cannot even talk about Boko Haram anymore. Remember now that your state is one of the states. In fact, the state that is mobbing, that is being more terrorized in the country now. What do you have to say about that? Because the other time you were saying I was the sponsor of Boko Haram. Now today... Can we also call you a sponsor of Boko Haram because your state is more of uh, uh, in siege of Boko Haram than any other northern state in the country? You know, sometimes when you speak, you have to remember that there is a tomorrow. Yes, because when history will, it will show up, it will show you that, yes, that you have made mistake before. And this is your mistake. So sometimes when we speak, we should first of all listen to ourselves before we speak. And now... Erufai is also facing the challenge as well. He's also facing it because nobody is spared. Everyone is living in fear. Even those in authority are also living in fears because Boko Haram can decide to change their mind today and say, yes, the people want to go for are the politicians. Let us also show them that they are nothing before us and we'll deal with them. We'll just kill them. We don't even need their money. It can get to that because nobody is safe. Like they will say, if the heavens should fall, it's not going to fall on one person alone. It's going to affect every person. Now, uh, Erufai is also dancing to the music that he once played to the president, good luck, Jonathan, back then. Terrorism is not something to be joked with in whatever way. If a country is facing terrori uh, terrorists or facing terrorism, I believe the nation should gather together and find a way out for there to be freedom amongst the people because everyone will be affected. Imagine now how things have been in the country. There's a hike in prices of food. There's hunger in the land. People are wailing, people are crying, there's droughts, there's so many things that are wrong. And now we cannot even tell if the president is the right, is actually the one sitting there or somebody else. Or if the president is indeed or obviously incapacitated that he cannot do anything with his right mind except he's being told, what are we to believe? The country is in a surge of terrorists because no one can put can even sleep with both eyes closed. We are all living in fears and also praying that there be a better uh, tomorrow. But most importantly, all Nigerians should understand that whatever way that things have been, we can still come together and fight any force that has decided or that is deciding to destroy a country like Nigeria. We have come this far, but we cannot just stand and watch things or watch this group tear us apart so my dear people that is it from here thank you for so much for listening whatever you have to say about this please drop it in the comment section and also give our videos a thumbs up do have a pleasant time bye for now